Hey, this is Phil Lilly, Lilly's Landing Resort, Marina, Lake Tanicomo, going to do one cast today. I have boated up here to the dam and been trying the white jig after we saw the shad in the, the one shad at Scooper Creek a couple days ago. We've been wanting to come up here and try white and see if there's any shad coming through. Been fishing uh, for about 45 minutes and have caught three rainbows. Uh, one just a minute ago, I was drifting up here and it was a really, really nice rainbow, uh, about 18, 19 inches, and uh, caught two at the cable, and uh, none of the fish are fat, uh, have not seen any shad. I've made one drift down through here and really didn't do very good at all, so I, I really don't think there's any shad coming through the turbines or these, these fish have not seen shad like uh, we were hoped, hoping that they did. They're running uh, almost four units today again after they shut it off overnight. Um, sometimes you just can't make any rhyme or reason on, on what they do with the water. Table Rock is bounced up a little bit when they shut it off of course and uh, it's still right around 916 and uh, they're running uh, Beaver Lake and dropping it slowly too, but um, got a little rain coming in tonight, but I'm not sure how much. I don't think I don't think much at all. But anyhow, I've uh, pulled up here to the first island below the dam. Uh, it's it's fairly windy out here. It's blowing me up, and it's seems like it's from coming out of the northeast and uh, kind of a strange direction and uh, so it's blowing me around a little bit and it's kind of hard to keep a jig on the bottom so i thought i'd pull in here and not fight the wind and do one cast um, water's pretty fast here there's not a not a real big eddy here in fact i might throw it off the back side might turn the camera around point it this direction. Okay, we'll rearrange a few things here. In fact, I'm going to point it, if we're going to stay right here, I'm going to point it down this way and put it back to the boat. Throwing a one eighth ounce white jig, one of our jigs, Lily's jigs, four pound line. Oh, that's too far. I guess I can work it back up into the Yeti. The boat's moving on me. A lot of times these fish, they get up in this eddy and kind of pick up stuff that goes by, but the, this eddy usually is I don't want to say violent, but the the water really swirls big time in here, and it's kind of hard to work anything. But if in there, if they're in here, if they if they're seeing shad go by, they, they'll pick up a white jig. Nope, nothing. Just kind of let it swing. I'm watching to make sure my boat doesn't go where I don't want it to go. Just let, kind of let it swing in behind the boat and into the eddy. Try to keep your line tight. Keep it off the bottom. Water's pretty fast up here.
Oop. One picked it up. It's almost back of the boat. Let's draw it this other side. Here I got my camera. Point it. There we go. And my boat's really starting to swing now. Had just a light rain late this afternoon. One more cast and I'm going to flatten the current and drift. Kind of intermittent rain. I think that's it. That's, this is all it's supposed to do uh, tonight. This comes up wind. I'm not being aggressive, but I am getting bites. my mic receivers are not getting wet. I think this is my last cast. See that light? I'm going to get out and drift a little bit. So I need to safeguard my, my mic system. Red fin shad, or a, it's a small silver it's in the shad family. Um, Table Rock has got them. Lakes that are south here and, and further south have them. The lakes up further north, like Stockton, Truman, don't have them because their temperature, water temperature, gets too low and they can't survive. And uh, that's what happens on Table Rock when the water gets down in the low 40s, upper 30s, those shad will start to die. Um, of course, not all of them die, but some of them find water in the, in the lake that's uh, different levels, have different temperatures, so they, they try to find water that they can survive in but a lot of them die and and um, if they get down to 130 feet deep around the dam then they get sucked into the turbines into Tanicomo. Of course they're small they get maybe three inches long at the longest maybe a little bigger but they're small bite size for our trout and they absolutely love them. Of course if they open floodgates um, water over the top we almost for sure get a big run of shad because there's a lot more shad in the upper layers of the lake compared to down deep.
I think it's starting to get dark on me. If there's a shad run, it's always best to get your jig down towards the bottom, but if, if there's a shad run, it doesn't make a lot of difference because a lot of the trout are, ooh, there's a fish. A lot of the trout are up close to the surface eating, eating shad that are coming through as well as down deep. So, is that my stump? I think it might be. Can't tell. Right now, jig down close to the bottom. The wind's starting to really lie down. That's good. Yeah, this is actually nice. There's no wind. Ooh, there was a bite. Not sure. The water up here right now is about 12, 13 feet deep in most places. Mm -mm. Saw one other boat coming up here. There are three guys. Oh, that might have been a fish, it might have been a bottom. There are three guys in the outlets. One other boat.
I really think I'm getting to the bottom, but no fish. One more cast. Sorry, hit the wind. Okay, sorry guys. Really wish I could have caught something on one cast. Well, yeah, this wind blow, I might just call it a day. It's starting to get dark anyhow. Alright, thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.